Schindler's List. In one chilling scene, the Nazi commandant takes his rifle and shoots the workers, somewhat at random. His aim is deadly. His intent is to eliminate the less effective. Perhaps they were older, slower. One was just simply tying his shoe. But there was a second purpose. As he scanned the camp and fired again and again, the workers leaped to their tasks, running back and forth, trying to show their worth, their determination, their obedience. Those killed were actually unimportant to him. He simply wanted to motivate the others to run, jump, to obey him completely, without question, without pause. Frightening. Oscar Schindler is not really the hero of this story. He's slow to respond to the overwhelming need for a savior. And in the middle of the film, one woman comes to him seeking shelter for a family. And he sends her away with the threat of arrest and declares people die. It's a matter of fact. If he wants to kill everybody, great. What am I supposed to do about it? And he even defends the commandant. He's under enormous pressure. He's got this whole place to run. He's responsible for everything that goes on here. All these people. And then Gandhi, you remember, Ben Kingsley. He turns to Schindler and tells him of the indiscriminate murders. He enjoys killing, he says. After an escape from a work detail, the commandant walked down the line, shooting every other man with a pistol. 25. And then finally, slowly, quietly, there's a change. Oscar Schindler takes off his watch and pays for the first two names for his list. At the end of the film, when all is lost, and Schindler, a member of the Nazi party, is forced to flee for his life, he breaks down, realizing he could have done so much more. With a little effort, he could have saved one more, perhaps many more. I didn't do enough. Most of us just stop and stare. We breathe a sigh of relief when the bullet strikes another. Some simply thank God they did not fire the rifle. But in our hearts, we all know we didn't do enough. No, it's true. We didn't do enough.